Ow. Ah. Oh. Let go of my pinky. Ow, and you're breaking it. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Uh -huh. Whoa. Uh -huh. Relax. Good morning, welcome back. This is the final cut of a three-part series of red tail or true red tail bow constrictor care. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this once again with Marlene. She's a little hungry, she just shed, which is why I wanna show you her colors and how beautiful she is. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and attempt to handle her without getting bit. I think it'll be all right though. So here's Marlene, beautiful, just shed. Relax, 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 relax. So you wanna make sure you support these snakes, <clears throat> support them, otherwise they get scared, like they're gonna drop. And you wanna let them, you can always tell the energy of these snakes by how tightly they squeeze onto you. You'll know when a snake is a snake's, uh, fearful or not very happy or not happy, but you know, not just doing well. Um, uh, they'll tighten up <clears throat> real tight. She's tight, but she's not tense. Like a spring, you know what I mean? She's she's cool. Um, hi, Marlene. I do want to keep her with my face because I don't totally trust her yet, as she doesn't totally trust me yet. Um, let's go back towards the camera. Come on. You're good. So, <clears throat> so you guys want to show you how she looks like here. There we go. So I moved the camera out to the living room. Um, there's better light that comes into this front window here, so I wanted to, it was horrible in there. Anyways, here she is. She's doing pretty good. That's much better. Ow, and she's beating my pinky backwards. Ow. Ah. Oh, let go of my pinky. Ow, can you break me? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, relax, 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 you're good. She did not like that at all. She was hurting me. I got excited and she got excited. All right, let's go put her back. You guys just saw her red tail. She's a little bit aggravated right now. Or scared. Let's go put her back. Okay, everyone. So, um... Marlene is eating her rat, second rat actually, and we're going to talk about temperature and humidity requirements and the uh, components I have installed and uh, general setup for true retail boas. So let's take a look inside. So there's Marlene there. She's in her, her hide box and she's eating a rat. We're going to take a look up top here. Let me show you how I heat this cage. That's an RBI, I believe it's a 80 watt RBI radiant heat panel. Let's see this one side. Uh, with a thermostat probe that um, comes down about, well, about three inches below the heat panel. I believe that's recommendation for the, of the manufacturer. Some people do attach it to the heat panel itself. I don't do that. I like to keep mine just below a couple inches and uh, it seems to work good for me. I keep the cages that her terrarium at, at uh, 88 degrees 
on the hot spot. Give or take a few degrees. And then on the cool end, about uh, 78 to 80 degrees. <clears throat> humidity, I keep at 80, about 80% 80 humidity, just like Brazilian rainbow boas. And her, you can see here, her, the uh, humidity, uh, the humidity controller thermostat is right here, or the sensor, excuse me. So that, I have it there on the ceiling, that seems to work good for me. These are the grow lights I have installed here for the life plants and also beneficial rays for the snake, even though they're not required. Um, I do have some LED lights up here for nighttime viewing. I keep it on the, on the red and in infrared setting, um, you know, so it doesn't disturb the snake too much, but I can change colors on it. I usually don't though, I usually keep it on red. And this go all the way, these go all the way around here. Here's my, my one drop here for the missing system. These are Mr. Reptile. This is a Mr. Reptile misting system. I'm very pleased with Mr. Reptile misting system. You can find those on Amazon. That's where I bought mine at. So I have a nice large water bowl right here that I made. And we're gonna do some videos on that also later on. You know, got green moss in here to help keep it humid. Light plant, light plant. These are branches that I made. <clears throat> so she has plenty, ample room to climb and bask and whatever else. She does utilize those quite often, mostly at nighttime. She'll come out, you know, these animals are typically nocturnal. However, <clears throat> they do hunt during the day too, depending but mostly at night, they're active. The substrate that I use is a mixture of the loose cocoa, cocoa choir, and also chunked cocoa chips. And I'll use that kind of layered or mixed up, it just depends. This is a fake uh, you know, a, a, a background that I made um, and I designed it and they look like rock for the back. <clears throat> I'm still still working on it a little bit. As you can see here, these are my seams and I'm trying to get those covered up. And I'll use moss to hide those seams and then offset the moss every so often to make it look like, so it doesn't look like I'm trying to hide the seams, you know? So I'm still working on it. I have some sides that I'm going to put up here also. So it looks like a complete rock cave. Uh, but I'm still working on those holes here. Anyways.